Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. I'm your host, Leah Maston, for Top Industry Professionals Tip International Radio Podcast, where we showcase prestigious top professionals from all industries all over the globe to share their experience and stories of success. My amazing co-host is here with me, and we are so honored to have her as a host of the show. Originally from Namibia, she was crowned Miss Universe in 1992. Please welcome Michelle McLean. Oh, thanks, Leah. It's always good to be here. And welcome to our wonderful listeners. And for those of you who can see us, we have such a stunning guest here today. She's joining us all the way from Hawaii. She's a three-time best-selling author of her book, Million Dollar Attitude. She's a financial specialist, insurance professional, and a successful, thriving entrepreneur and community leader. She was also crowned Mrs. Honolulu International in 2001 and Mrs. Hawaii United States in 2002. Stunning woman you are. <laughs> she was just recently selected as top influential business and community leader of the year by the International Association of Top Professionals, CEO of Fames Hawaii. Everyone, please, please welcome Joni Reddick youngs Joni, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much, Michelle and Leah, for having me. Aloha. Oh, look at you. I love your crown. (laughs) (laughs) Before this hakule, this is a traditional thing about, you know, on a Friday, although it's not Friday today, but I want to make it as Aloha Friday for you two beautiful ladies. Well, we love it. It's so fun for us. Thank you so much. First of all, we're so excited to have you on the show. Our listeners are in for such a treat. Joni, you have such a diverse and unique story that got you to where you are today. Um, And you have to, you, I mean, you've mastered so many trades, so we want to hear everything. Tell us what got you started as an entrepreneur, an author, et cetera. Thank you, Alea. Well, let me take you to my memory lane way back in the Philippines. I was born and raised um, in the Philippines, but I vividly remember as a five, six years old, I was just looking around. I was, I have, I've been surrounded with this rice fields, big chickens and like, oh my God, how am I gonna have a better life? But I keep dreaming and just had this big dream that I'm gonna be in a better place someday. Well, at, uh, in 1974, which is almost 50 years ago, my family and I, we came to Hawaii, the land of opportunity. I was very, very shy. People don't believe me there, but it takes time to develop yourself, right? Personal development through pageants. <laughs> but anyhow, I, um, like I said, I just keep dreaming, visualizing to have a better life. And um, I started accounting at first and then nursing, um, been in the nursing industry for about 20 years. But concurrently, I was introduced to Mary Kay Cosmetics And um, Mary Kay Ash became my mentor. That's where I learned actually how to have a positive attitude, can do attitude, believe in yourself. I read her book, You Can Have It All. And after I read it, it's like, oh, what is the mean? Oh, you can have it all. And so it kind of inspired me with knowing her background, how she really positively inspired women, influenced a lot of women. And I'm one of them. So by reading her book and going through the process of the Mary Kay way, I became one of the uh, top Mary Kay source director in Hawaii, actually record breaking uh, here in Hawaii uh, to be uh, to achieve Mary, uh, directorship in one month instead of four or six months. So that was one of the highlights. And just meeting her in person, actually, it really was an amazing experience. So. Through that, learning with the business, and then um, I got into the insurance and financial industry because of my family um, experience, unfortunately. So I have to educate myself so I can educate other people. I've been working and doing two to three things at the same time, having my kids, but I all this opportunity keep coming my way. And so I have this uh, uh, sunscreen um, company, uh, that I was one of the part owner and then also as a co-founder with this nursing company. And then a, a limousine, um, I had Jonas Paradise Limousine Company. 
so as well. And it was really a great opportunity to be able to, to serve Mrs. America. They came here, gold medalists. It, it, it's been a wonderful ride. And um, then I had this opportunity also to be, um, well, we're going to talk about the pageant later on. So I'll, I'll say that. Okay. Like, <laughs> uh, I, well, I, wanted, I wanted to say that we have, I'm just dying to ask you these questions because we have so many similarities, me being a former Miss Universe and you being a Mrs. Hawaii and a Mrs. Honolulu International, I believe. You know, the power of pageantry, you just mentioned that. I mean, it can be such a wonderful, positive stepping stone for so many young women. How has that impacted your life? And you're also a director of, I believe, uh, Miss Paradise Hawaii, and you have a scholarship um, pageant as well. Yes, thank you, uh, Michelle. And, and as you know, it, it's really, there's a lot of preparation, right? You know, for a private interview, on stage interview, how to walk, talk, I mean, everything. And that's the one thing, like for me, uh, when I had young girls, um, you know, come up to me and they said, Auntie, I'm not the pageant, you know, girl. And I said, well, look at me, I'm only five feet, Filipino, I can hardly speak English, right? Before. <laughs> but I, um, like I said, it was my dream is to be the beautiful women, successful, so I can be able to, to help other young women as well. But I've been um, actually been coaching and training some uh, young women, and I was approached uh, by one of the director of Mr. Y America if I can franchise, oh, if I can purchase a franchise of Miss um, Hawaii America organization. And I never even thought of that. And I said, well, you know, I'm doing so many other things with my job, with my nonprofit organization, my TV, um, you know, production as well. So just have so much on my plate. So. I said, hmm, let me think about it. Uh, and then they said, well, Johnny, you've been doing all of that already, but on a one-on-one -on -one basis, can you maybe do eight or 10 women? And I, you know, shared it to my husband. I thought he was going to say no to my surprise. He approved it 110% because he know what I said. Hey, happy wife, happy life, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> He's a wise man, very wise man. We like oh. him. <laughs> It's irre irreplaceable. <laughs> now, I, uh, yeah, because um, as you know, it's just so rewarding and fulfilling, Michelle, to be able to see when you transform a young woman from very shy to if they have their full confidence. So I'm all about the personal development, um, building the confidence, and to help them when they go for a job, job interview, and I have so many testimonials already, and they said, Auntie, oh my God, I got the job, uh, you know, right away on the spot because they, I guess, they already seen how confident they are. And a lot of business owners, of course, they want someone like them, you know, with a can-do attitude and have a lot of different skills, communication skills, presentation, all of that. So I, but I told uh, Bunny, who introduced or wanted me to purchase that franchise, like, okay, if I ever do that, this is a preliminary for Miss Hawaii America. I have to have Miss Waikiki and Miss uh, Oahu. So she said, okay, let me get back to you. So I got it. And then um, added on Miss Paradise Sabai. So I am the owner and executive director of Miss Paradise Sabai. Miss Oahu and Miss Waikiki scholarship pageant, provide scholarship training, uh, you name it, the, the whole shebang. Joni, I think everyone listening right now is wondering if there's anything you don't do. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. people, people ask me that, They're like Mary Kay asked that. You guys have to look it up. You can yeah. have it all. It's like yeah. oh, you can you can have everything, whatever your heart desire, what you conceive in your mind, believe in your heart, you can achieve. But you have to uh, willing to put you to work. You have yeah. to take action, massive action. You have to sacrifice some sleep. You only have three, four hours sleep. They say, when do you sleep? And how do you achieve all of this stuff? And it's like, why you, you know, you snooze, you lose, right? <laughs> that is so inspiring. I love that philosophy. Now, one of the passions I know you have is for your 501c3 Fames Hawaii. Tell our listeners about it. Oh, Leah, it came about about 18 years ago. I've been involved with so many other nonprofit organizations like um, um, American Heart Association, National Kidney Foundation, Hawaii State Share, Make a Wish Foundation, you name it. I've, I've done it all. And But for me, because of the work that I do, people always ask me, 
like, hey, Tony, how do I, uh, you know, start a business? How can I, who can I connect with? I have a, a whole lot of Rolodex names. So, you know, I'm like the walking billboard or something. <laughs> they pass me for anything. <laughs> who can you I connect to? You, huh? <laughs> I'll go to a person. I'll go to a person. And so I thought it would be great to be able to um, have my own nonprofit organization. You know, about business, mentoring, educating, motivating, leadership development, all in one and because it's so um, important and crucial for any business people that it's not just being making money, but giving back to the community, connecting the community. So I, although when I went to five community leaders that I thought I, you know, they would be excited for me, they said no. They told me everybody that I talked to, they said no, they discouraged me, you shouldn't do that. But I'm so happy to say I'm almost almost 20 years. I'm actually putting together my scholarship and fundraising gala and my officers and directors <laughs> on the November 13th. So it's been really crazy. And we continue to provide scholarship. We help the domestic violence. We provide them computers, lunches for the employees, uh, human trafficking. And we just provided free business and leadership work, workshop. We have speakers uh, from business lawyer to you name it. So it's 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 been a really um, it's very fulfilling to be able to to provide all of these resources to people because there's you know a lot of you know people that they wanted to start a business but they don't have the right resources they don't have the right person that sometimes it takes them you know a lot longer than if they have the right person then it's it's a lot easier that way. You've just got a heart of gold. Wow. Just oh. so incredible. And that is so important for our communities that, that you had the courage to, to start, you know, a foundation like that, because it does take a lot of work. I, I know from my background as well, I've had one for 30 years now and it's, it, it's a risk as well, you know, to, to yes. get it right, but it really helps the communities. So amazing, amazing work that you do. And, you know, talking about your illustrious career, you've won numerous awards, honors, Featured in magazines worldwide, this year you'll appear on the famous billboard in Times Square. Um, actually, you did appear. You did appear did in appear. Times Square already. Yeah, a couple, couple so, months ago. <laughs> and you're going to be on the front cover of Tip Magazine. You'll be honored at the AIOTP's annual awards gala dinner in New York as top influential business and community leader of the year. And listen to this the Empowered Woman Award. Congratulations, Joni. Wow, that's just amazing. Now, with all of these achievements, what do you think has been your highlight of your career? What's been your most memorable moment? Well, everything that you have mentioned too, it, it's beyond me. It's uh, I'm just so speechless and all of this just keep happening. My most memorable, oh my God, I have endless of them. <laughs> I could mention a few, like in my nursing career, of course, it's highlights to be able to help those patients, so give them smile their faces, you know, to um, comfort them. So that was for almost 20 years. It, I really truly enjoyed that. In my American career, the most highlight was, of course, to meet America. I worked so hard to be in the fabulous 50s and to achieve a uh, sales director in one month, never been done before. And in my um, insurance financial industry, the top 10, I'm the only woman at the top 10 in the field management, I received a platinum, presidential platinum citation award. And um, it's, um, of course, with my TV show being that um, Oprah, I, she inspired me so much that I used to watch her show. And I thought, hey, that is so interesting. I would love to do that too. No experience whatsoever. But how it came about actually when I when I was promoting my uh, my book uh, when I my book signing I was interviewed by radio TV um, you know and they they said hey Joni you should have a uh, Joni show so then I was like wow interesting I I love this and I said now I can fulfill my dream to be like in you know, the Oprah show right the mini Joni Oprah in Hawaii <laughs> you know so I, I just. Uh, interviewing uh, business owners, unique people, just to learn from them at the same time as well. So that's the highlight of my TV show. And of course, with my nonprofit organization, uh, we have provided al already over 500,000 of scholarship to young people from different universities, um, uh, high schools. And um, so I, I mean, it's just, just so endless. There's so many. So everything has been a highlight 
for everything. What else do I do? Um, yeah, in my businesses, just meeting people. <laughs> it's just been amazing. And with my book, it's just taking me everywhere, you know? And oh, I just published, uh, I revised and published my, it's all about attitude, really. It's all about attitude. It's still sexy at 60 and beyond. And uh, that having those books, it's get me, well, like I said, to different places, be able to speak and to other non Wait, 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 just, just stop right there. You said sexy at 60. What does that mean? <laughs> are you, you, no, you I'm you're not, you're not in your 60s, are you? I'm going on 63. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, oh, no. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think that. <laughs> you're just flattering me, but I don't know. No. I'm yeah. going to fly there right now and I want to learn all your secrets. I want all yeah. your secrets yes. immediately. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to drink yeah, from that water of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't go in there. And actually, um, actually, I'm, I, I, I challenge myself to sell a million of my uh, copies of my books. 100%, 100% of proceeds will go to Empowerment Academy for um, so I can continue, continue to provide um all these workshops and trainings to young women. So if you guys go into my website, you will see uh, my, um, you know, going there and um, purchase, copy my book. So all of my secrets, it's not really a secret. It's all about with the attitude, eating right, healthy lifestyles, um, exercise, right? Positive mindset. And that is the key that no matter what's going on in our life, and especially now what's going on with the COVID and everything, um, I tell you, it is don't make any excuses. Just do the best you can. Be active, exercise, get some sunshine, read some books, and just keep going. <laughs> Joni, would you say some of your secrets to youth would be just the positive attitude in general? It's the positive, yeah, why well, I always say positive attitude plus positive action equals positive result, as simple as that. Wow. Well, <laughs> that's a philosophy that we should all be following. Um, and and we, if we want to look like you, certainly we have. Oh, come on, Alicia, you're Miss Universe. I'm so excited. Miss Universe is interviewing me. <laughs> but but yeah. you know, now, with all of this, do you have any time for hobbies? I mean, of course. Don't tell me you surf. It's all about balance. My husband surf. It's so funny because it's the opposite. I don't swim. I don't surf. He does rough water swim, and he surf. I just watch him. But we we walk at the beach um, every Sunday. We go to church. We walk at the beach. I just up to my ankle. That's fine. I'm good with that. <laughs> and we we love to see a movie. We just what's Double O Seven. That was really really nice. And um, yeah, so just just relaxing and I love to dance. We dance, uh, we do have a boat and we, we just go there and relax. So yeah, it, it's, all, it's all about balancing spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. When you have that aligned, you can do anything, you can achieve anything. And I always tell young women or anyone, don't limit yourself. There's so much opportunity out there, but it takes courage. It takes it, my ABC in my book, but you have to have the right attitude. You have to believe in yourself. You have to have the courage, determination, the discipline. You have to empower yourself so you can empower others. Um, you have to have faith in God because I, I, well, I pray a lot to make sure that, I, you know, um, it's always there to guide me, direct me in the right direction. Um, I make sure that, oh, age, happy. You have to be happy. You attract people more that way, right? <laughs> and, uh, okay, happy, right? H I integrity. You make sure that you do what you say. You have to walk the talk. So I have this ABC. You have to know your ABC and follow that and you will be in a better place, mentally, emotionally, physically. Well, I can't wait to, to get your book and I'm definitely going to do that and, and yeah. come and visit you in Hawaii because... Yeah. <laughs> yes, please do. Oh my God, I would love to show you around the island along with Brooke Lee. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So um, Leah, um, a former Miss Universe, uh, Brooke Lee, from yes. 2005, I think, lives I, in Hawaii as well. And she's stunning. She's a lovely, oh, lovely woman. She has her own TV show as well. And um, yeah, so when they said, hey, um, Michelle, we'll be interviewing you. And I was like, oh, it was, it's, it's just an honor. And uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. And you know, when 
people complaining about what's going on right now. And it's like, hey, there's a solution for every problem, right? Mm -hmm. But it, it's, again, with that right mindset, the right attitude that we can achieve, we can do anything, anything we want. Well, it's been so lovely chatting to you today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, oh, thank you so you. much, Joni. <laughs> thank you, Leah. I mean, we could go on and on for a bit. There's so much more to talk about. <laughs> and if anyone wants to, um, to reach you and learn more about you, they can visit joniesmilliondollarattitude.com and yes. um, fameshawaii.org, right? Or is there anywhere else they, they can reach out to you? Oh, they can. Uh, yeah, no, that, that, that's good. Or they can call me as well at 808-781-5905. I want to achieve my goal. And with this interview, hopefully it will help. And I will email you guys my uh, QR code. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you. Thanks, Joni. Yeah. Oh, Have thank a lovely you. day further. Thank you. So well, great. Uh, you too. And I can't wait to see you on December 11. It's going to be yes. Yay. so exciting. Yes, very, very exciting. And have a fabulous week, ladies, beautiful ladies. And uh, aloha. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>